Hey guys, I'm sure you've seen lots of different websites. When you register for an application, they send you an email and you have to click on a link. And before you click on the link and confirm it, you can't access their website. They require you to click on the link. And the reason for that is to avoid spam and people trying to uh, put fake emails and that sort of thing. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that exact thing using Node.js. Now we're gonna be using a library called Node Mailer to do this. You could switch this out with a different service like SendGrid or AWS has sending emails. Um, the same strategy will work for all of those. But first, let's show an example of how this works. So I'm about to register for an account. I have a temporary email right here I'm going to use to demonstrate this. So I'm just going to copy this email here and I'm going to register using that. So I'm just going to use that for the username, email, and password. I'm going to go ahead and register. And as you can see, it takes a second to register and then we will see registration worked. And the reason why it took a little longer to send there or to get the response back, it was one or two seconds, is because we're actually sending an email before we're doing the response. Um, and then if I were to come over here and I try to log in, I paste this here, we get a please confirm your email to log in. So we can't log in yet because we haven't confirmed our email. So I'll come over here and we see we got an email here from Binawad Apps and it says please click this email to confirm. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link and I take it to the login page and I'm going to console, okay, click on that and we put it in and login worked. So cool. We successfully confirmed our account and are able to log in. Now of course you could do different splash screens in the middle there and say hey you just confirmed your email click this button to log in now or whatnot I just was redirecting them straight to login so let's I'll show you next how we actually got to send this link how this link is working and the code behind this to power this guy because um, this is pretty cool so let's come over here this is the code for it the first thing I did is I made a confirmed um, attribute in the user table or property so now I know whether the user has confirmed their account or not and by default that is false and then whenever I am logging in the user I'll just check user.confirmed and if they are not confirmed I'll say please confirm your email to log in so that's kind of what I'm doing to check and make sure that the user is logged in now to send the email I told you I was using node mailer and that's what this register function is doing right here so it's first creating a user right then it's using um, node mailer and we created a transport I'll show you that in a second we're creating a transport and we're also passing an email secret because if you look at this closely over here this is actually a JWT token I'm passing back so you can use it for multiple things and one of them is email confirmations it's really nice so we're signing that to token with an email secret and the transporter to actually send the email now there's two different type of emails that I'm going to show you guys of ways you can send the email I prefer the async email because it's faster so you saw when I clicked register it took like a good one or two seconds to get a response from the server and the reason for that is we commented out async email and right here we were doing synchronous email and the way synchronous or how this is working is I'm actually creating the token this is the token that I'm going to send in the email um, and I'm, all I'm doing here is I'm passing the ID of the user so I know when the user I basically know which user to confirm so we're storing the user's ID here and we're using the email secret and I'm saying this expires in a day you could do a week however long you want your basically link to be valid for then we are linking to this confirmation um, so this is the express server localhost 3000 slash confirmation and we're passing that token I'll show you guys how this route works in a second um, but that's the URL we redirect people to and then we're doing transporter dot send mail and we're awaiting the response so this is what's taking a long time because we're actually waiting for the mail to get sent and make sure and if not we're catching any errors that occur and we could like tell the user hey the email wasn't sent for some reason but a lot of times you don't see that a lot of uh, websites what they'll do is hey did you not receive your email click a link or something right to resend it because they're making their email sending asynchronous because you saw how long it takes um, 
But as you can see, here's our actual email. The subject is confirm email and then the HTML. All I'm doing is putting a link in there um, and doing the URL that we created right here. So let me show you guys though how much quicker it is if I do this one. So this is an async email. I'll show you guys how much faster this one is. So let's come over here. I actually can't use this same email. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just drop the database real quick. So I'm gonna come over here to index and I'm gonna say force. It's true. So this will drop the database and it'll let me to recreate this user so I can show you guys um, just how much faster this register is. So go ahead and put all these fields in and we hit register and look how much faster the response is. But it'll still send the email for us. Um, it just sends the email in a different thread. It's asynchronous. So if we wait here a little bit longer, we'd see probably another message pop up. I'm not sure if we were going to see the same. I don't know how, if how this truncates messages since it's the exact same message. I don't know if it's going to get rid of it or what. But okay. We don't have to worry about that. But you guys saw how much faster. So with the sync, async one, what I'm doing is I'm signing the token and they give you a callback function and in that callback function I am doing the exact same thing I'm creating the URL and then I'm sending the email in the same way the only difference is you see I'm not awaiting the response so this is happening asynchronously okay let's take a look at what this endpoint right here is doing so you see how we're signing um, the token with the ID and we're saying it expires after a day um, and then we're using this email secret. This is important. And then we're sending them to click on that link. So when they click on that link, what's going to happen is they're going to come to this endpoint up here. Um, this is has nothing to do with GraphQL right now. This is just plain old REST endpoint confirmation, expecting a Git route. And we're accepting a token as one of the parameters in the URL. So you saw here how I was doing slash and then I'm passing my token. I'm reading in that token right here. And that's what rec.prams.token is going to be, is whatever they pass here. So I'm just doing a try catch here. I first try to verify the token using that secret that I have. That's the way I know no one tampers with the token um, and changes it in any way. And make sure it hasn't um, expired. If it's been past a day, we don't want to verify them or whatever long. So we grab that ID that we had. And all we're doing is we're then, um, with our SQLized model, I'm updating that user. So where the ID um, is equal to the ID we stored in that token, we change them to confirmed. If something goes wrong, we just do res.sendError, and then I'm redirecting if everything worked to the front end, and I'm just doing slash login so they can log in. So that's it, guys. That's how it works. So as you can see, it's actually not too bad to do email confirmation, and you can switch out this portion of the code right here in the resolver. So in the resolver, we're sending an email with this transporter, using node mailer but you could do something else besides um, node mailer and I was going to show you guys the transporter that's up here here's the transporter this is me creating node mailer and I'm using my gmail account using my gmail username and password I'm storing these environment variables so I don't show you guys my credentials but you could store these as strings if you wanted to and then yeah we're just confirming the token that we created in our resolver over here, make sure nothing has been tampered with. And then we're updating that user. So pretty cool. And let's see, sure enough, we get the second confirmation email here. So it did work using the async method. So I would recommend you guys doing this. And what you could even do is have like a little link the user could click on if the email doesn't get sent or something that they can then do this. So that's it for this video, guys. This code will be up on GitHub so you can check it out and do confirm confirmation emails yourself. And the link will be in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions about this.